This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Enjoy the video. We've all seen those kids at skate parks with a brand new complete, with brand new fresh clothes, and sometimes even their parents there watching. And then you have the kid who should have retired his board about 300 kickflips ago, who have holes throughout all of his clothes. Braille skateboarding actually did a whole series on this. Now we gotta actually find the worst board. Hey, let me see your board. This is the worst board I think we've ever seen. No nose, tail, and he is legitimately still like having a session. Skateboarding isn't as affordable as traditional sports. A normal soccer ball, basketball, football can only run you about $20 when a brand new skateboard that's actually kind of good will cost probably at least $100. Let's take a look at my skateboard. With these chips, it's going to be a little more difficult for me to learn tricks, especially with the tail being so soggy at this point. I just can't get the kind of pop a good board can. The dream is to get brand new skateboards for free, to be sponsored, but even then, it takes you going through a whole lot of boards to get to this point. The goal today is to warm up at a skate park and maybe go find some skate spots in the city while talking about the actual beef that can occur from rich kids versus poor kids at skate parks and how I actually had this experience and what it led to. And here we are probably at top three best skate parks in the Dallas Fort Worth area. We have a brand new skateboard today and we're going to compare today to the other day where I had the worst session of my life with a very 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 used board in the last video. So let's just warm up and have fun. <laughs> for me to have a lot of control. <laughs> oh, why? Skating so bad, I got so much grip on my board. That's amazing. People in Texas have been so nice. So our crew was definitely the poor kids and I feel like we developed a sense of insecurity because of all that. So we kind of kept quiet. We'd go to the skate park, we'd stay in our own lanes and just kind of keep to ourselves. And then there'd be the other kids who were loud, excited, confident. I was gonna say obnoxious, but I feel like that's rude. And you know, their parents would be there rooting them on. You could just tell those kids were the, they were the affluent ones. Anyways, one day uh, we had a fight. And now a word from our sponsor. Squarespace now has member areas. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated member only content. Manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. Every Squarespace template is designed to support every type of major content, including pages, galleries, blogs, commerce, calendars, and more? Buying a domain is easy because there's no hidden price spike. What you see is what you get. Choose a URL that ends with .com, .net, .org, or you can get more specific and end it with .art. Something that I'm gonna start in the next few months is an email campaign. It's the easiest way to engage with an audience because there is no algorithm you have to deal with. Anyone who signs up for an email gets the email every time. You can create your own community on your website with blogging features like likes, comments, replies, the whole social media thing at the tip of your fingertips on your own site. And if you're a busy boy, like me, you can actually set up appointments on your site. You can send over the page to people being like, this is when I'm available. And you can kind of schedule your whole schedule via your own site. Head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to sign up, you can use squarespace.com slash John Hill to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. And now the rest of the video. So my brother is the one who got in a fight. As I'm skating, I turn around and all of a sudden I see Shannon, my brother, kick a guy in the stomach. Apparently he was making fun of his clothes or board or something, which is ludicrous. I don't think the guy was being like, hey, nice holes in your shirt, you're poor. I'm sure he just kind of looked at his board and was like, dude, that thing is beat up or something casual. And Shannon took it 
not lightly at all. Again, it's that insecurity you build up as someone who can't afford to have something better. And then they locked the gate because of course they had a key to the park to insinuate we're gonna rumble. And look at me, I'm not a fighter. I was like, ah, do we have to do this? And luckily we didn't because one of the kids just backed down. Shannon just kept yelling. He just was like, I'm gonna beat your face and blah, blah, blah. Cause he, he doesn't, doesn't know how to back down. So they just kind of stopped talking to him and that's how it went. Even though I didn't have the perspective before to realize that most of that was probably Shannon's fault, from then it did solidify this feeling in me that I am the way I am and there are gonna be some people who hate me for it. Okay, we just showed up to spot number two, but this one usually is a bus. I get kicked out pretty much right away, so we're just gonna sneak in there and hurry up and see if we can get this session uh, before uh, we get kicked out. No idea how to do this trick. My hands didn't touch, I swear. So close. Oh, so close. Still a little bit sketchy. I'm counting it. I think that's fine. I got more tricks I want to do, so I'm going to keep that one, but I'm going to put that on the list of tricks that I need to practice but also that I got much better at in just that short time. So, more tricks. Oh my God, that hurt. Dude, I'm falling the same way. Dude. I had to stop skating because my arm felt like it was gonna snap. Every single one of those nollie cab slams were so painful. So that's one that I know I get to practice in the future, but Here's how everything changed. Okay, so I just pulled over into a parking lot because I just hit a pillar with the right side of my car. <gasps> Sounded like it, yeah. Jesus, dude. <sighs> no. No. I just got this car like three or four days ago. I started leasing it, so hold up. We gotta go to the car dealership before I freaking continue the story. <laughs> See how much this costs. So apparently there's a place right here. <laughs> like literally the next building over that looks at cars. Well, this video sure took a turn, did it? <laughs> so we're looking at about $800 worth of damage. Kill me. Kill me. I'm gonna try to do one more session even though it dropped about 20 degrees and it's about to rain and it's very windy and I like to complain. Even though this video is set up perfectly to explain the struggles of being poor, I don't wanna be too self-indulgent with this topic. The problem with being insecure is sometimes you don't give people a chance. You think they're going to judge you, so you judge them first. So I would do that at the skate park. I would put my head down, I'd put headphones in, and I wouldn't even give people a chance to befriend me. As soon as I got here, leaf blower started going off, so now it's just really, really loud. So let's uh, find a quiet place. I could seriously sleep in here. It's been a long day. So I had this weird judgment of rich kids until a rich kid at the park that I knew of came up to me and complimented me while I had headphones on and I was like, oh, what's up? Not only did he say, dude, your skateboarding is awesome, but then he complimented me on a video part that just came out in the community and he was like, dude, the footage was so amazing. And then he was like, yo, I have this really nice camera and I would love to film you because of course he did. And even after that, he said, why don't you come to my house and stay with me and then the next day we can get up early and film a bunch. That was just his first conversation with me. One of the nicest conversations I had literally ever had and it was with one of those snot-nosed rich kids. By the way, I come from a poor town so rich in my community was probably just like middle class in America. Like just like right in the middle. <laughs> and we became best friends and his family became my family and even when I was about 16 years old I didn't have a place to live and I stayed at his place for a full 
year. His family just welcomed me and fed me and it was it was incredible. It's easy to hate or be mad at people who have more than you. It is unfair. But if you let that resentment build up, it's gonna keep you from meeting amazing people and building relationships that can help you get to where you need to go. People will screw you over and people will hate on you and be condescending towards you, make fun of you, bully you, but the answer is always optimism, as cheesy as that sounds. The chance of someone being nice to you is just as likely. You think you're protecting yourself by not even allowing these people to make you feel bad. True strength comes from giving people the chance and then just saying, oh, this person isn't for me and moving on. Because so much of life, opportunity, and success comes from serendipity. And there's no better serendipity than meeting someone who has a different perspective on life than you do. Or in my case, you meet a lot of talented skaters who have a lot of extra boards and then ask them to give you the boards instead of throwing them away. Yeah, how do I get out of here? <laughs> And that's all she wrote. I am uh, exhausted. It was a lot of skateboarding and I think for the future videos, I will be trying to find a lot of new spots so that I'm not just like aimlessly driving a lot, but there are so many, like this is a random parking lot and it was still pretty cool. What we found, the little gap, the hydrant, etc. Pretty fun. Every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video on this channel, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Progress Daily channel. Be sure to subscribe over there as well if you just like watching raw skateboarding. It's our skate park in Columbia, South Carolina. Lots of skating every day. We're actually featuring a lot of new skaters, a little more underground skaters recently. So if you're into that and into seeing what the world has to offer beyond just all the regular popular sites, Progress Daily. We're showing it and it's cool. Take care, Progress Daily, and keep killing it. <laughs>